Hello beautiful people of the world. Today I'm coming at you with another video. And I'm super excited for this one because I'm going to be exposing H&M for all of its worth. So I worked at H&M for two years. Now I'm going to do a quick disclaimer. I'm no way saying that the whole entire company as a whole in Australia is like this. I'm not even saying that the H&M that I worked at in this current period of time is like this. I'm just sharing with you guys the personal experience that has happened to me and it's no way reflecting the company or their values or what happens during other stores. The H&M that I worked at was a very close and tight-knit group. So if a customer that was really hot came in the store, you best believe a lot of the employees would know about it. We would have radios and we would talk over those radios. There was a running meme in the store amongst the girls that the men section of H&M just attracted the most hottest men in the entire world. Like if you want to meet a guy, if you want to meet a husband, if you want to meet your potential soulmate, go into the men's section of H&M because I swear to you, on God, every single man had some sort of attractive feature. Tens, tens, tens across the freaking board, bitch. Tens, 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 tens across the board. On another note, that's kind of a downside of the men's fitting rooms is I don't know why, I don't know if they do this on purpose, but all of the men would just change without closing the door. And I'd be hanging stuff and then I'd just look up and some guy I would just be butt ass naked in front of my face. If you're ever looking to write a script on retail workers, you need to go to a H&M fitting room because that is where it happens the most, bitch. I was working when there was a couple having sex in the fitting rooms. There was a moment where a girl period did, 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 all over the fitting rooms. There were fights in the fitting rooms. There was vomit in the fitting rooms. There's sass and there's just ass everywhere in the fitting rooms. There is a running meme in the retail world and it goes like this. When customers ask if there's anything at the back, you go to the back and you scroll down Facebook for five minutes. We didn't even have to do that. And in the back of our heads, when a customer would walk over to us and say, do you have anything at the back with happy in our eyes and in our souls say no bitch the fuck we don't because let me tell you this if you want something and you haven't been able to find it for a long time go in the morning at 6 a.m. on the dot trucks would come in into our loading zone and just give us barrels of barrels of new stuff obviously this goes without saying but people working at H&M that opened those boxes had first call on whatever they wanted if you want to get anything if you've had your eye on something for a really long time whether it's been something that's out of stock or in stock but it's a bit pricey wait for the next season you guys if you really want something and you're a financially saving queen like myself make sure to wait and just scope it out and look for sales Wherever the mannequins are, wherever they're showing off the clothes, look at the barcode and look at the very end number. If it's five at the end, that means we're on season five and everything that's hot is season five. Sometimes there would be an exact identical blouse. One would be season four and one would be season five, but they would be drastically different in price. I'm talking about like $5 to like 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. The only difference, and this is what we were taught by the H&M gods the quality of fabrics and the buttons and maybe something didn't really work on a lot of people or we got feedback or something and there is maybe a tiny little change like maybe the buttons are a bit different maybe the fabric is a little bit softer you know but it's not like who cares right so you can definitely just look at the season or come up to the stuff and they'll be so happy to help you next point we can only finish the sales until they're all sold out so a sale can be going on for two or three months and they can be saying oh my god flash sale like take as much as you can no bitch they end it when there's like a tiny little pile of clothes and they just put it at the back or something I don't know what happens to it really whenever you see something really nice on a mannequin and that's usually at the very 
front of the store or at the very front of different compartments. You can find that garment right behind the mannequin. If you can't find it there, they're not going to be anywhere. And this is worldwide. So here's the T. Trend is where you want to look because the quality is a lot better. This is the compartment that was my favorite. Basically, to put it in short, they're Instagram clothes. And this is the T that... It's more expensive, but the garments and the quality is actually really, really good. If you are paying money for something that's $69, you are paying for not only the trend in itself, but also you're paying for something that lasts a little bit longer. So if you're looking for that, I tell my friends and they seem to be really shocked. So anyways, guys, those were my H&M secrets. I want to say thank you so much for listening. Hopefully this provided you some help, some value, or maybe a few few laughs. So thank you so much for listening and I'll see you in the next video.